Whew, hello. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened here. Welcome back to the workbench, everybody. Uh, we have another Kenmore Progressive canister. We've got a bunch of them in right now. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, they said that the belt broke. So we're gonna see if that's actually the case here. Let's test this out. Oh, did you hear that? Listen to this. Listen, listen again to the wind down. I'm gonna turn it on, turn it off, and then as it winds down, listen to it. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. So let's take a quick peek in here and see what this bag compartment looks like, because that is the Achilles heel of these guys. They're always just full of dust and this one actually doesn't look too bad. Um, if you look down in here, I'll take this out. It's not too bad. It's got a little bit of dust, but not nearly as much as that other one. But boy, it sure sounds rough. Um, that motor does not sound happy. Let's see what their HEPA filter looked like. These things are such pain to get off. Whew, hello. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened here. It must have gotten wet, maybe? I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> That's their HEPA filter. And uh, it is, has disintegrated and started to blow out the exhaust port. That's wild. Did not see that one coming. So, okay. Well, <laughs> that's super weird. I don't see any other signs of moisture. I don't know what happened to that HEPA filter, but that's not good. Anywho, we're getting off topic because I heard the motor, but the main issue that, uh, that, we were running into is that the power nozzle was not working. So in most cases on these, the power nozzle not working, not turning on. They said that it needed a belt when they brought it in, but what they didn't realize is that it's, this is not coming on at all. So electrical is not getting to this guy. So, um, in most cases, that is an issue of um, that is an issue of the hose. I shorten the hose someplace, but we're going to eliminate this first before we go to the hose. So what we're going to do is we are going to hook up. Let's see. I think this ought to work. So this is just a little power nozzle pigtail. Yep, that'll work. So I just plug this into the mains here and plug this in. And if this is working, okay, it should turn on. Nothing there. So the next thing that we want to check is if the, um, customer has picked up like an area rug or something like that, it could have popped this breaker. So I'm going to go ahead and, Press on it and see if it clicks. It did, it clicked. I don't know if you heard that, but I did hear a click. So what we're gonna do now that we've reset this, I'm going to, before it's plugged in, check the brush roll and make sure that it's free and not jammed. It's free. So now I'm gonna go down and over here. Oh. It's running now, but it sounds terrible. So, ooh. It smells like burning. Oh my. It really smells like burning. That's not good. Oh, look at this. Okay. So, see all this right here and this mud? This has been wet. This has definitely seen moisture. That's probably what happened here. Um, 
yeah, this is definitely seen moisture, so. So I don't know what's rattling around in here, but once you introduce a dry vacuum to a wet environment, you're just, you're in for, oh, you're in for a world of hurt. So there are supposed to be two screws, one here and one here holding this in. Those are no longer there. So now we will just take these clips. Some of them have already been released. And this is, my guess would be mildew. It's like stained the brush roll. So it's definitely been wet and stayed wet. Ugh. Okay. This was in here. I don't know. This kind of looks almost like a... Um, like a weed, like a like a trimmer um, line. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Like a triangle trimmer line. Um, so that could have been making the noise. Uh, we do want to check the brush roll though, and we want to check the bases. These later Kenmore bases, when they switched from their old style power nozzle to these new ones, they were not nearly as sturdy, and they tended to um, crack. So I want to make sure that this is not cracked anywhere. I don't see it so far. Oh my. So the belt is still intact has been hot though, um, and you can see that, um, let, me, uh, let me zoom in here. So right here on the uh, post for the motor where the belt track is, you can see where it's like black and white and like off color. This has been pretty hot. Now the motor, Sounds free, no roughness, anything like that. So again, I don't know exactly what has happened to this, but whatever it was, was not good. Um, it was enough to trip the breaker. It was enough to uh, get moisture all up and in it. It was enough to get the motor overheated. Um, yeah. Here's what I'm going to tell them. Minimum, minimum this vacuum needs a power nozzle service. Um, and quite honestly, it needs a new brush roll because this one is mildewed and it's not, I don't think it's safe to use. I probably shouldn't be breathing this in, but you know. Um, so I would say that minimum it needs a power nozzle service and a brush roll. Um, I don't, and probably a HEPA filter because this thing is shot. I don't know if I'll tell them that the canister should be serviced and here's the reason why. That motor doesn't sound good. Um, I think their motor is probably on the way out and they're gonna have to weigh that when they decide whether or not to put a new brush roll and power nozzle into this guy, or new uh, and power nozzle service into this guy. So, you know, that, that's up to them. But um, again, I don't, I can service the canister. I just probably at this point wouldn't recommend it. If they want to keep using this, we'll take it all apart. We will wash all the plastic, get it completely clean, mildew free and we will replace the brush roll here. Um, but as it is, this needs to go. So anyways, uh, you know, you gotta do the math, but 
in any case, we'll see what they want to do. But hope this was interesting, uh, seeing what was going on. I know it was just an estimate, not a repair, but I like bringing you along on all these adventures. So if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell to get notifications and like this video. And of course, we will see you in the next one. Bye.